Today I've come to Loch Ard, which is in the Trussocks. What a peaceful, beautiful place this is. There's hardly a breath of wind on this shore. You can hear the birds tweeting. It's absolutely glorious out here today. Relatively speaking, this is quite a small loch. Um, we've got Kinlochard just behind me here. That's the little village that you can see. Uh, the road just uh, passes along the left-hand side of the loch there. And uh, today I'm going to try and walk around the right-hand side of the loch. There's no road. I think it's pretty, pretty remote around here. I haven't seen a path in a little while, but it's it's stunning. And first photo of the day is got. I've got a fantastic little beach here. It looks more like muck to be honest, but um, there's some really beautiful shapes in the sand just from where the silt has settled. Um, it's leading out onto Loch Ard and we've got a few little trees as well. And um, I've got a bit of a polarizing filter on today just to try and bring out some of the colors from the earth just on this little beach. I'm sure you can see this little beach here now. Um, it looks like there's been a few people have had some mishaps on this. It looks pretty marshy down there and my camera sunk quite a bit as soon as I put it in. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to venture too far out into that. I think I found my favourite tree. This is almost better than the one in Loch Lomond, I think. It's a little bit further out. Uh, and I'm just trying to get the, the composition right for this. Uh, it's stuck out in the middle of the, the loch there. Uh, I think you can see it in the background. And um, I'm just waiting for the wind to die down so that I can get a nice reflection of the tree uh, in the water as well as the tree itself. Um, it's taken a wee bit of work, there's quite a lot of other trees around it, so um, just trying to isolate it I suppose so that there's nothing else sticking in at the side of the frame. Uh, this is, might be a little bit of a waiting game. Never thought I'd say this, but this place just seems to be full of nice trees. Uh, I've got a nice birch tree here. Can't get much nicer than that, eh? Um, you can just see the silvery kind of bark, and with the background of that uh, kind of orangey grass and a few of the old darker trees in the background, um, it's really just jumping out. I've got it zoomed in nice and close, um, and I'm going to try and get a little bit of bokeh in the background this time as well. Um, just to really, really focus on that tree. Um, it's not the Christmas tree, uh, but it's that uh, silver birch which is just beside it. For this, I have my polarizing filter on. <clears throat> Again, just to try and bring out the colors in the photograph a little bit more. Um, got it zoomed in quite a lot. We're sitting at around 105 millimeters, so kind of the, the furthest that the lens will go. Um, apart from that, we've got a aperture of four and a shutter speed of an eighth of a second. Uh, just really want to freeze any movement that's, that's going on in the photo. I don't really want any of the grass uh, blurring out or anything like that. So that's why we have that faster shutter speed.
this place is amazing. It's one of the only forests that I've found that I actually feel like I can get the camera out and take pictures. And I've got a few pictures of a few trees. There was a lovely little uh, bunch of, uh, I think it was birch trees um, earlier on, which I set the, the wide angle lens up. Got some kind of distortion effect. Um, but yeah, it just seems right down beside the lake here. Uh, the trees are pretty sparsely packed. It's not too tight. Um, you can get some real good uh, contrasts between the bright orange ground and then the dark trees. I'm going to explore here for a little bit longer <clears throat> and then I think it's lunchtime back to the car. I think today is the day that um, I photographed the forest. Uh, there's been a couple of trees about earlier on today which I've tried to photograph that one on the lake uh, which was looking fantastic but this this forest is great and there's a carpet of uh, really orange leaves which have fallen it looks like it was a beech forest maybe something like that and um, there's moss on the trees gives the trees a really really uh, saturated green look. I've got the polarizer on the camera and um, set it up on the tripod and I've already taken a few wee snaps. Um, the forest then just leads away into just a dark more dense green area. Uh, really happy with this look. Really looking forward to seeing this um, on the big screen. Thoroughly enjoyed my little walk along the southern shore of Loch Ard there. Uh, some great forests, some great views over the loch. Um, I think it's somewhere to return, maybe some early, some morning, to try and get a little... Oh, I've just seen some more photos. I don't know if you can see. Look at those trees over on that hill. That definitely needs a bit of an explore. Back in a second.